My belief, certainly my experience over well over a decade of business coaching around the world, is that there is no asset class with more potential to grow your wealth than through private enterprise, through owning your own business. And yet, for an awful lot of small and medium sized business owners, the business is actually a drain on their finances. They still have this aspiration, this hope that one day they will be able to sell, but they live in a reality where that's just not a reality, where short-term cash flow needs are creating pressures. What I wanna do in this episode is help shift your mindset. If wealth creation is part of what you wanna build for your life and your family, then this is absolutely a must watch. We're gonna start over here with your current business. Uh, If you're like most business owners, you have one business. This is your focus. The first question you've gotta ask yourself is am I running this business as an income business or as an equity business where it actually has value and the potential to be sold one day. Most business owners have uh, a dream of selling their business, but in reality, they're not doing anything to actually significantly make their business worth any kind of value or investor ready. When it comes to the money that comes into the business, ask yourself, do you spend what comes in and, and save, reinvest what's left over? Or do you invest first? Do you take that off the top and then set a budget based on whatever might be left? It's a little bit like the home budget. There's an awful lot of families who save whatever's left at the end of the month and surprise, surprise, there's never any money left at the end of the month. So in your business, what I'm going to encourage you to do is to start to ring fence, to take a portion, maybe it's 5%, 10% off the top that you are going to put aside for reinvestment. And here's the mental exercise I need you to do right now. Understand that your business is not your real business. Your real business sits over here, what I'm calling in my case, the Aldridge Family Trust. Now don't get caught up on structures, uh, you know, in terms of like bank accounts and companies versus trusts or any of those kind of things, mentally, Just understand that your family wealth sits in a separate conversation to your business. This is where your real wealth is going to be created. So you're now taking out some of the money from your business and taking it there for reinvestment. Mentally, you don't actually have to transfer it out of a bank account. You don't necessarily want to send it from your company into a family trust or any of those kind of things that might trigger tax issues. But mentally, I want you to think, if I take that money, let's say it's $100,000, and I take it out of the business and I ring fence it in the family trust mentally, where is the best place for me to invest that $100,000? Now, as I say, my experience, the best returns are almost always back in your business. And that's why I say you don't actually have to transfer any money, you just mentally have to make that decision because if you're going to get a better return by investing in property, investing in shares, rather than going back into your business, then do that. But if your business has potential for growth, to create future income, future equity value, then absolutely invest in your business and get that growing. Now eventually, because of that growth, because you're reinvesting, you're going to have surplus money that is available. The business doesn't need an infinite amount of money to get invested in it. And this is where you can start to build your portfolio. If you go back to one of our very first episodes, we looked at the wealth quadrant for business owners, and we talked about that wealth quadrant being where you build all of your different assets. So maybe you've got a house, maybe you've got an investment property, maybe some shares that you own. And each of these you're investing in, and over time, they're generating a return. They're bringing money back into the family trust that allows you to continue to reinvest, to continue to make more choices. In fact, some of those choices may be to set up other businesses, become a portfolio entrepreneur who has this one business, which was your first business, but is no longer your only business. This mindset of not just focusing on your business today, but focusing on the wealth of your family and the potential to have multiple assets for the future. 
not only has the benefit of helping you create that long-term sustainable wealth, which was probably part of the reason why you started a business in the first place, it also actually has a benefit for this business today. Because when you start thinking long-term, when you start making decisions based on equity, not short-term income, your business will be better for it, your family will thank you as well.